Hey everybody, we're going to be reacting to Doja Cat's new song, Demons. That looked like a video game intro. Like the video game title. Nice. You know, I think. Old ones. Old ones. I think it's super inventive, actually. I didn't know what to expect going into this, uh, but I think it's really inventive. The imagery first, you got the house, you know, it's like kind of creepy, creepy house, kind of yeah. reminds you of like House on a Hill or like uh, Clue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that Clue's mm -hmm. what came to mind, but I like comedy, I guess, more than more. <laughs> um, and then with the demon itself, right, and climbing on a ceiling and all these things. The movements are very, very expressive. It's not just like, hey, I'm a demon and I'm dancing to a song, you know. Uh, very expressive. And it's creepy. Even, so Lon Chaney Jr. is really famous for this. And Lon Chaney Sr., uh, who were the horror classics uh, actors. Okay. Anyway, really famous for, actually I'd say Lon, Lon Chaney Sr. is probably the more famous for it. But really famous for like the use of his hands. Uh in horror films because back mm. then you had like silent films and you know you had to be creepy in however you could and sometimes that was just in your movements your eyes and your expressions and in your hands and this is actually doing that very very well the the hands coming yeah the hands the like bottom of the bed it's the, the one thing that stood out to me as creepy now that you mentioned it is the way the thumb was on the post as it pulled up like it just it felt unnatural unnatural right yeah and and the way that it's like kind of stance and creeping and crawling and it's it's very like, ha, 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 ha. Uh, it's very well done. I'm actually really really impressed with this. I didn't uh, I didn't expect to see something like this going into this. I I also like the metaphorically the idea of like laying in your bed, your demons coming at you as you're like you want to go to sleep, but you can't get your mind off whatever demons are affecting you that day. It's it's very well put together, this music video. Right, and you also notice that the TV is on. And it's not really playing anything in particular. Mm -hmm. It's just on, which maybe there's something more to that, but just something I noticed. Well, I see that's something very common when you're trying to get your mind off of things, trying to get to sleep. You'll turn on the TV on something you don't particularly care about. Just care about it enough to like distract you from whatever's bothering you, but not enough to actually care about and get into, because then you won't fall asleep. And it doesn't work. Well, it's obviously not working for her. Not for her. Yeah. But she's got quite a creepy demon coming up on her right now. <laughs> Nigga, I'ma bring the heat. I'ma bring the cold. You should bring your skis. I'm a fucking queen. queen. I am expeditiously. See it, bitch. Are you off a key? You off a key? I would never let you in my VIP. We are enemies. We are foes. Who are you? What are those? You are gross. Percocet got you playing with your nose. Yeah, hey, how my demons look. Mad at my pockets full. How my demons look. Yeah, mad at you bitches. 
puppet, I'm a sheep, I'm a cash cow. I'm the fastest growing bitch on all your apps now. You are tired of me cause I'm on your ass now. You are mad at me cause I am all they slap now. I can now. I think whoever directed this video should get an award. I'm just gonna go out and say that. Uh, seen some, a lot of really inventive videos. This is very, very, very well directed. I would say the person who directed this should get an award. Yeah, that that's what I have to say about it. This is extremely creepy feeling, but I also like, I like the, ideas that she's getting at here how do my demons look now that my pockets full all right now i've got the money now i've made it in the world my demons aren't gone the the money a lot of times people will be thinking like oh once i get here once i get right. this amount of money then then everything will be better but the thing is it's not better if anything those demons have multiplied and gotten worse over the course of this music video which just shows like they say that money magnifies whatever you are naturally it just takes if you're a good person it'll magnify it and allow you to do more good if if you're someone who has a lot of demons it'll magnify those demons and make your life a lot harder on you and i think that's what she's expressing in this song yeah it's like you thought that everything was going to get better and then there's the the scene in the bathtub where it's the demon talking and she just like turns you're gross. That it's one of those. Okay, I've got all this fame and all this fortune, and it it hasn't helped me see myself as any better of a person. It's not like my life has improved. I mean, there's more luxury, but mentally, I'm no better off than I was. If anything, I'm worse. It's very, very interesting what she's striking at with this, and like you said, the directing of it has just been amazing. Yeah, and going along with what you said, there's there's money amplifying a sex success, yes, amplifying things as well. But there's also this sense of well, I have set an expectation that when I get there, everything's going to be all better. I'm going to feel like a healthy, normal person, you know, because I'll be successful and wealthy and blah, blah, blah. But so it's it's not just like you have this power and money that amplifies it, but it's also that you're, you, it's compounded. Your problem is compounded by the expectation that you've put on it. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of like, you know, when, you know, I say like the dog died incident or, uh, example right for like you bring somebody's hopes down to bring them up or you bring them up to bring them down well this is a great example of something that we do to ourselves where we're like i'm going to reach this point and then life's going to be perfect and then it isn't so now we still have the problem plus the failed expectation mm -hmm. and that just weighs double on us but man the way that the black water was coming out of the bathtub just mm -hmm. lightly splashing out and then the hand creepy coming up man i i, I haven't seen a movie this well a video this well directed like a short video like this uh, in quite a while. And we watched some really good stuff. Yeah, and the kids are like enthralled in this blank screen now, which I'm half like, oh, I want to see what the, what's got them so enthralled. And the other half of me is like, I'll keep the demons away from the kids. <laughs> <laughs> they probably let them in. They're probably like summoning them or something. Like a little like digital seance. Or like, <laughs> digital seance. They got it's, it's probably like a video game Ouija board or something. I don't know. Ugh. App now. Lots of people that were sleeping say I rap now. Lots of people's hopes and dreams are finally trash now. Lots of people say they met me in the past now. I done took the spotlight and made them black out. I done took the whole dick and blew my back out. I just swallowed all these kids and spit the class out. I take the trash out. I'm finna cash out. Bitch, do not pass out. Yeah, hey, how my demons look. And there right. you go. There's your director. Yeah, whoever's in charge of the Christian Brislauer. Uh, so the moral of the story is don't move in after Doja Cat has moved out because uh, she will leave the place haunted. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a lot to unpack here. I think we, we covered a lot of it there. 
But there's just, I really like that there was, she was able to express so much feeling. And she said some things like, you know, uh, now that I'm famous, you know, people come up to me and say, hey, we've met before, you know, and like trying to piggyback on that fame, trying to piggyback on that money or whatever it is. And life isn't hard enough already, right? Like, or we should say life is hard enough, right? With, with all the things we already have to deal with. But then you have people like just trying to basically be a parasite to you, yeah. you know? And it's just like, man, people work hard for their stuff. You know, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they're just handed things, you know. But, I mean, there was a lot of work put into this video. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Both in terms of uh, technical skill and creativity and just the vocals, all the things, right? But then it's like, yeah, you make something and you make something yourself. And then instead of, like, just, I don't know, encouragement and celebration, you'll also get this, like, hey, well, hey, what about me? Like, hey, weren't we friends before? It's like, man, where were you when I was struggling? You yeah. know, where were you when I was making one dollar a video, you know, and it's just it's interesting. Yeah, I think it's a, I think one thing that's interesting and this I'm going to reach back to the two most crass lines she had in the in the music video. But they you they, go you go bleep a bleeper. <laughs> no, oh. uh, I, took the, says, I took the whole. Yes, but th there was a line before that that referenced this on the very first part where she's like climbing up on the bed. She says. If you're gonna throw a dick at me, it better at least be big. Whoopsha! Whoopsha! <laughs> then, please don't add graphics to that, Mac. Later <laughs> on, she has two lines back to back that uh, that I felt had a pretty significant meaning, despite the the way she said it. And the second was, I took the whole dick and threw my back out. The second line was, uh, I ate the whole. S I, I ate all the kids and threw the class out and spat the class out. Yeah, I took on too much. And have hurt myself in the process. Very much talking about the entire theme of the song in her own way, which you would expect from Doja Cat. But the theme of the song, like where it's fame, fortune, success has not fixed everything. If anything, it's made some problems worse. I took on too much and now I've got these demons on me and I don't know what to do about them. And chronic back pain. And chronic back pain. <laughs> but it's, it, it's, even in the lines that, you don't think would have any deep meaning for, like normally from the this genre. She had good meaning behind them and they were referencing the entire rest of the meaning of the song. I thought she did a very good job lyrically. It wasn't overly complicated, but it was poignant mm -hmm. and she did a good job expressing I've got demons now that I didn't have before in a way that didn't feel like Oh, woe is me. My star power has crushed me. <laughs> right. Right? Like, right. you'll get that, uh, oh, what's the band that had this, had two songs back to back that were really big. It was in the 90s or late, late 90s or early 2000s. They had one song that was, uh, oh, you stars, you're so picked on with your money. If money's such a problem, well, then I want all your problems. And then the second song that was so big of theirs that came out was, just leave me alone. I get that I'm famous now, but I, I just want to live my life. And it was back to back. These their two most famous songs. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was Good Charlotte. Oh, okay. And uh, it was just, just very interesting that people don't expect success to come with its demons, but it does. And she expressed that in a way that's not off-putting. Yeah. Not off-putting to some. I would I think a lot of people would find this extremely off-putting. Um, no, that's, that, yeah. You know, <laughs> but I mean, but not off-putting in the normal way. Put it that way. It's not off-putting off in that it's crass. It's not that's... the kind of movie, it's not the kind of video that we turn off before we publish it. There are plenty of those. There are. Yeah. This was, yeah, like I said, very creative. I, again, what you just said, Chase, the simplicity of the lyrics, the the straightforwardness of the metaphors, it really paints the picture, And but really the expressiveness of the portrayal of the demons and even the, you know, the, the other characters in the story. Yeah just tied it all home. I think seeing this is so much more of an experiential uh, event than sit, taking just listening to the song. When you I have agree. the whole music video, you have all the things together, it really paints a huge picture. And it's reminiscent to me of old, like, uh, maybe like Gothic era type Christian depictions, right? Of like different, like demon type things, you know, hundreds of years ago, we're looking at different 
you know, like temples and cathedrals with their gargoyles and, and different depictions of the devil and stuff like that. And the way that they were portrayed that in here, I think, was really, really good. Especially you notice that the demon version has all this jewelry on, right? Looking really pretty, really like uh, seductive. And the way she moves is like um, enticing in a way, you know? And so it has like kind of the, the temptations built into it. And it's like, we have all this now, but, you know, what? But what? You know, and ooh, it was it was creepy and moving, and very unexpected for me. I gotta say, I was I was I was surprised by this. I was surprised yeah. by this. Yeah, I think I'll echo your comments. It's really the music video that took this over and above. I think had I just listened to the song, it would have just struck me as this is a Doja Cat song that doesn't appeal to me. I I don't see myself listening to this in the car necessarily, but the music video really took it to the next level. Uh, I just. Very well done. Yeah, well done. I hope they get a, an award for that because that was awesome. Anyway, if you guys like this one, check out this other video. And don't forget to subscribe because uh, we got more coming out this week. So we'll, uh, we'll see you there.